Alright my friends, it's Krebs here, we're we'll playing some Space Engineers! Right, well we haven't made a video on Space Engineers in maybe two or so weeks, but I plan on changing that. I plan on actually maybe almost making, well, daily content, at least every day if not every other day. And I thought to start off this video we would go through some, uh, some of our first creations, some of our first cool creations anyway. Because, you know, we can all build spaceships and, and whatnot and you can make them look really cool like that one out there. But when you start making up ingenious stuff, I think that's really cool. So I'm going to show you guys one made by the community, and then we're going to go on to one that I've been working on uh, for like the last half day or so. So, you have this space base, you know, you feel all comfortable in here, and your teammates are out there, you know, you're playing some multiplayer when it comes out, and you've got this searchlight so they can see your base. But then you realize, oh shit, they're being followed and those aren't friendlies that are following them, those, those are hostiles. So your friends can see the beacon of light coming back to the space base. And you realize, well, it's time to put up a defense. So you go up to this turret. <laughs> oh, well, I've already been revealing it. You go up to the searchlight, and you look for that little turret in there, the cockpit. Where is it? Where is it? Hold on, I think i got to actually get a bit closer into here. Because what this thing does is it actually doubles up as also a weapon so let's go out into third person see that's the searchlight right there that's where your friendlies will be uh looking at you and then you flip it on around aha <laughs> seems like this searchlight is more than meets the eyes looks can be deceiving and so you bring out your gatling gun or even your long-range missiles first when they're far away you start firing them off Wherever they may be, boom, boom, boom. These things eventually explode after a certain distance. And then when you start getting closer, you switch over to your Gatling gun. And you unleash into them. So looks are definitely deceiving. A humble little searchlight turns into a lethal weapon. That is so cool. And that's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about that makes... These really cool, uh, ingenious designs. So, let's show off some firepower with this. Sorry, uh, community member for <laughs> destroying your your ships and whatnot, but... This is the kind of impact this thing has. Uh, and I, I guess in the worst case scenario, say the hostiles actually make it to your base, and they capture this thing... Yeah... Looks like they're gonna be causing a lot of havoc to the uh, whole place. Ouch. Oh dear. What about the Gatling gun? Let's get this on the go. This is more causing small dents, if anything. Boom. Boom. Can we even damage ourselves? Yes, we can! <laughs> the power of... Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, I think we just blew our own uh, creation up. Or, yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, so what we're going to do now is pan over to one of my creations. And with this one that I've made, it's, I've, the in original purposes, I guess with a lot of technology and a lot of creations, the good, good comes from it, and they are built for good purposes, but a lot of times creations can be made for war purposes. <laughs> and uh, the idea behind this thing, it doesn't really look like much right now, but the idea behind it was that it was supposed to be, um... A kinetic projectile launcher and I think I'm actually gonna have to scrap this design because I'll explain it to you guys where I came up to with some problems but the original idea was this was supposed to be a projectile launcher so you could put in a small block or whatever it might be into the actual firing mechanism of this launcher and something would push that at a high velocity and so it would become essentially a projectile and it would crash into something and do some damage uh, but <laughs> the way of how these things go, uh, you come with difficulties and problems along the way. So the way that I wanted this projectile launcher to work, and I'm sure there are easier ways to do it, this was just the one of the original ways I was thinking of, was you'd have these rotator uh, portions here that would rotate in 
uh, a clockwise fashion and this would drop this center slab as you can see with these sort of platforms here drop it down and since I've got multiple of these things rotating at the same time it would increase the speed at least hypothetically and it would drop it down to where there would be another uh, rotating mechanism and that would be connected up to the actual battering ram or whatever you call it that would hit the projectile so the only reason this is so big is because I wanted it to have more firepower so to say more kinetic energy so that it would just launch projectiles faster because I mean you can make something smaller but I don't think it would be as powerful but I came to up to a problem because it could work this thing could actually work if you want it, if you're the one that's actually controlling it. The only difficult thing about it is that if you're controlling it, you're gonna have to go into your rotators, your rotors, and you know put them into the ver the velocity in one direction, and then put the velocity in the other direction if you want to draw it back up, which is kind of a hassle. So I was thinking maybe we could make this an automated thing. So when it goes down then we can bring it back up automatically by some uh, opposite turning rotators. Now the only problem with this thing uh, though is that it would get stuck and I only realized this when I was actually building it this far because the idea behind it was all of these platforms were supposed to go down and at that moment these ones which are up here and don't have anything connecting onto them would be brought down and then these rotors would start pulling it all the way back up but the only problem is is that it wouldn't match up uh, eventually things would get stuck between these opposing rotors and those uh, rotors over there what you'd have is that the bottom line of uh, platforms here and the top line I believe or whatever some platforms down there would end up getting stuck and this thing would just n not function anymore it would just cease it'd be frozen essentially uh, with these things working in in opposition to each other so unfortunately it looks like I'm gonna have to kind of scrap this idea unless you guys can think of anything to try and make this work but I was thinking that what I could do at least for future episodes if I do keep on working on this is to cut this down the center line over here and maybe I'll just show you guys right now is to cut it down the center line uh, let me just get rid of this over here and let's make this simple cut down the center line just have this portion working here so to draw it all the way down and then we'd have something more complex at the bottom uh, once it's actually when the battering ram has actually been drawn forward has hit its projectile and moved on forward what we could have is maybe some rotors down here some dummy rotors that would turn so that it would bring up another set of of these rotors here I know this sounding a bit complex and then start drawing it up uh, from the other side that was an, another idea that I had uh, although that would get kinda complex and uh, I'm not sure if if that would even work in the end that would take quite a bit of time to even try to figure that out but you know what well, I think I'll show you guys at least you know how this thing is working uh, to show you what it's like so let's break off this landing gear here, which is holding it in place. And I'll just show you guys how this thing is working, alright? I know it's not going to be much. All it's going to do is go downwards. But uh, you get to see a little bit of how it is. So you have to make sure that all the rotors are in the same setting. So on. And this one is the same one. On rotor 1. Or rotor whatever. No name. And rotor 3 are the same ones. Here we go. And there they go. See, they're pushing it down, pushing it down. See, and as those rotors catch it, they actually pro uh, <laughs> project it faster. But this is where the problem comes in. Yeah. I, I need more landing gear to keep this thing in place so that it is just the only thing that's moving. It's only moving down and up on vertical axes. That's it. But as you can see, that was the idea. It was supposed to go down. And hopefully back up, but I, I don't think uh, it's it's quite there yet. <laughs> and I think I might actually have to bin it, given uh, given how these things are going. But I really want to make a, a projectile launcher. That's that's my end goal. I want to make a projectile launcher. Um, 
I guess it's not a total failure. You could do some different things with this. I mean, for example, oh god's sake, it had to save, didn't it? So now I've got this crummy thing over here. Well, I guess I'm bending it anyway. <laughs> Uh, but I guess you could have done some different things with it. You could have made like sliding doors. Uh, it could just go up and down. No problem. Uh, you know, you'd have to turn the rotor on on one vertic on one uh, speed. Or in one direction, then the other direction. I guess you could have done that. But it'd be a bit of hassle, wouldn't it? You want to have things automated so that you don't have... To it's minimal input that you have to put in. That would be the... The best thing to have. So anyway, guys, these are my first dabbles around into some more complex creations and making stupid little spaceships. Uh, and we'll try to make some more. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this. And until next one, this is Krebsy, and I will catch you guys later.